Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. So I did a little bit of research on the uh, Golden Orbs boss or whatever, it's pretty much just what I thought it was. Um, essentially you need to kill that thing that revives them, at least either first or second, preferably second, because you have the option of killing one of the other, one of the other two orbs to make the fight easier. But I went ahead and did a little bit of stuff off screen, and I finally... Overkill, defeat 30 FOEs, get you a Tokyo Metronome, let us be thankful to the FOE, FOEs and their drops. Commitment. I still need to get a lot more kills to get 60. Um, that'll get me 80,000 bucks, which is pretty decent. Um, but probably ain't gonna happen anytime soon. Alright. So. What we need to do. We're gonna do a little bit of a sidetrack here. We're gonna do level unification down to 65. Now my average level is 65. Uh, one thing I also I did spend some skill points. Um, Keen, I got another rank in defense boost, and Keen the, maxed out her resistance boost, and I started upgrading Erin's uh, resistance boost, so she's getting some resistances and stuff like that. Um, with Keen's uh, resistance boost maxed out, I replaced her Toadstool with another Divine Barrier to make her a little bit more tanky, and that's about it. Alright, so with that, all that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and set up our party. We're going to go with Moko, getting messages. I'll deal with it later. Alright, so... Moko... Now the question is, is I don't know how durable our team is against this particular boss, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um... Parsi, Pyakuren... Yeah, I don't know. I'll go with Pyakuren. Hope it works out. Well, one way to find out. Alright, great tree. We're gonna go to floor 12. It's been a while since we've been over here. Now, what we can do is we can take this little secret passage we've, that we've revealed. And only those who possess 60 or more achievements may pass is engraved on it. So we have that achievement. Well, we have that many achievements easily. And this is a level 65 boss. Alright, let's go say hi. Oh my, my dear de uh, dear sister, what would you be doing in, a, in such a place like this? Ah, Lon. Ugh, you're still on about that. Just to let you know, I'll show no mercy to anyone who interferes with my picnic. Actually, scratch that. I won't show mercy either way. I'm in a really bad mood now. Get out. Look, just listen to me first, Dan. I said to get out of here. If you don't want to listen, this is what we're, uh, what you're gonna get. Well, that missed. That's good. Alright, so this is Flan. Um, now, the other requirement besides getting enough achievements is I think you have to have enough FOE kills. I believe 30. Um, to uh, also fight Flan. If not, she just like get lost. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, Flan is super resistant to mystic and fire, partially resistant to dark and physical, uh, immune to terror, immune to death, extremely vulnerable to debuffs, and weak against cold and spirit. So we'll go with that. Not much damage. That's fine. Go ahead and start debuffing. Wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright. Now, as we get further... It's, she's very similar to how she was before. As you go along, she'll get... Um, She'll start using stronger and stronger moves, and eventually she'll do a focus and do a super move to uh, finish you off. Let's go ahead and go for another. There you go, got the speed that time. Alright, so now fully debuffed. 
And luckily I regenerate all my HP already thanks to Moko's regeneration, so that's good. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and, um, how are we looking here? You still need more buffs. I can try using Nazarin for a bit. Let's see how it goes. And I can go ahead and give Moko a bit of a buffer. Like so. Let's go ahead and give Sutra. Luckily those missed. But yeah, even with 50% debuffs, uh, she packs a punch. Alright, she's weak against cold. 53,000. I don't really have anyone else I want to use. That's the problem. Killed our uh, healer. Nearly, and Kassen, it actually killed Kassen, but she uh, got Therese. So. Tanky enough. Alright, World Devour and Destruction reduces everyone to 1 HP. I can live with that. So let's get Azra back out. Oh, it hits everybody, even back row. Perfect. That should be enough to win this fight. Alright, got ourselves a fighting gem and magic gem for fighting it on level. And there's a diva's apron again. Whatever that does. I give... Jeez, that was so hot. I thought I was gonna die. Ugh, that was so tiring. Flan, are you going to listen to me now? What? Like I said before, we shouldn't have left you out on our trip. I'm sorry. As a token of my apology, let's all have a picnic together from now on onwards, okay? Eh? Really? Yes, and this time it won't be just Sakia, Mailing, and myself. There's Raymond, Marissa, and a whole bunch of others we don't know who will be coming along as well. Ah, that's how you're playing it. I don't mind bringing her along on the exploration, but if she goes on a rampage inside the village, there's going to be a lot, a lot to answer for. I already know, so how about it, Flan? Marissa, is it okay if I go with you? I won't be a bother or anything. There's a lot of folks uh, among us who join on their own accord anyway. 
At this point, one more is like a rounding error, and besides, your strength's the real thing. If anything, you coming along would make our life easier. Then I want to go. Bring me along, please. Mm-hmm. Come on, Flan. Stand up. Marissa, let's work hard on this picnic. Is a picnic something we need to work hard on? Flandra Scarlet joined the party. Sorry, Flandra, I, I forgot about you this entire playthrough. So. Go ahead and take a look. Change members. Um, swap out you. So yeah, no gaps. Actually, there's technically two gaps at the bottom here. But uh, we're not going to worry about that for a long time. Alright, so... Flandra. Extremely high attack. Really low defenses. Uh, decent HP. Decent speed. That's about it. She also has okay magic. So let's go over our skills real quick. So she does have attack and magic boost and MP boost. All good stuff. She has three attacks. She has Starbow Break, which is a dark move in this game. Uh, expensive. It also it has, it's not very accurate. Um, it is a physical attack, and it hurts her. So every time she casts this, she actually loses a good chunk of her HP. Um, it cannot kill her though, so even at one HP, you can spam this spell as much as you want. Just don't leave her out, or she'll die. She's pretty much the ultimate class cannon, if you hadn't uh, guessed already. Uh, Forbidden Fruit. This is a mystic that hits all enemies. It's a magic attack, pure magic. Um, it has high attack, but will consume 1 MP from all front lines and reduce their ATP bar. So Flandra's gimmick is she has a, a single target spell that's really strong that hurts herself, and then she has two AoEs that cause problems for the entire party. Now, in the case of Forbidden Fruit, it drains everyone's MP and reduces their ATB bar. It's strong, but it is pure magic, so that's an issue. L uh, Le Levitian is a extremely expensive, all en uh, hit it's an all composite all area fire attack. So it uses both attack and magic. It has extremely high attack, and it consumes 2 MP from everyone, reduces their ATB bar to practically nothing, and reduces everyone's stats. So this is an all or nothing thing. I have used it before on my other save. It's super powerful. Like you can just sometimes when I'm like I'm not sure what to do and I'm like nearly dead or about to die or something, I just throw out Flandre and just blast this spell, and it usually kills everything, unless of course they're resistant or whatever. Um, that this is how I beat the freaking that one stupid gargoyle that kept like buffing himself and doing piercing attacks. I um I just kept spamming this and hope and hoped for the best since my party size of my other save is much smaller. Anyway, now she also has, um, let's see, if she takes any damage from anything she's weak against, uh, she all of her stats will increase by 25%. Not that useful, because she's a glass cannon. Beat down, whenever the user uh, defeats an enemy, uh, recover MP, and all stats are increased by uh, percentage. Uh, doesn't stack if you hit kill multiple enemies. Good if you want to make her a sweeper, though for the most part you're going to be spending more MP than you're going to get back. And also if you're using her AoEs and you don't happen to kill everything, um, you're going to be in trouble. Impact attack adds shock to everything, not a big deal. Smoldering Madness, um, upon her turn everyone on the front line gets attack, uh, attack bonus, uh, in this case 8%. Pretty good. I mean, for especially for long fights, if you keep swapping her in, you'll boost everyone's attack a little bit. Not that big of a deal. SDM residents. This is just like the others. It's the more people SDM characters on the front line with her, the uh, higher her stats are increased. And that's about it. So yeah, she's pretty much the same as she was before. Just super class cannon. Okay. I think I will go ahead and. Well, first I need to switch my character back. members. So there you go. So we got all the characters now. Uh, we still need to go deal with the stupid orbs. Um, in fact, I think I'll go ahead and do that right now. Let's uh, level unification to, uh, I think I was, what, 76? And then we'll save. Might as well do this while I still can. Alright, uh, floor 18 north. 
Alright, I am average level 76. Okay, so once again our issue is going to be trying to survive the first attack. It's not going to be pretty, to say the least. I do not need Atsuo for this fight. Actually, I technically don't need Satori, so I'm going to go ahead and put Satori out. And I will put out Eren. Really, I just need enough people to survive the first round. That's all I need. So let's do this and we'll see what happens. Ready, set, go. Already gone all through all this. Alright, there goes Satori. Also, both the canopy and the, the forward time actually can um, heal. The, one of them does it much rarer, but more, uh, with a stronger heal. But really our big issue is Mr. Offense hey, over here. The other one does more status effects and um, essentially just status effects and well not status effects, he does a lot of debuffs. Uh, which is why we didn't really notice anything with him because, or it, is uh, my entire party is practically immune to debuffs. So yeah, that's a thing. Alright, so at this point go ahead and get the ghost out in. Nearly get myself killed. And then we're gonna go ahead and swap in Parsi. Then you are gonna go ahead and get started on the healing. the wrong move. Oh well, it happens. So, I attack again. That's going to be annoying. Alright, switch in Luigi. Oh, there goes Kagosa. That's fine. Take the hits. Swap in Parsi again. Let's go ahead and get the up and running. Let's go ahead and get the prayer recovery going. Jels of Kind and Lovely. There we go. Alright, so now we don't have to deal with the nukes. And now we can get... Just take our time, get everyone buffed up, and see about dealing with this thing. See, that does a big heal. The other one does a uh, not so much of a heal. Fair recovery. There we go. Unfortunately, the forward time has the most HP, and he does. It does have pretty good defenses. Um, it is weak against debuffs, though. So that's a thing. Killing him is going to be an issue. Deal. All right, let's go ahead and get some people swapped in. Um, I don't remember what this thing's weak against. I think physical. I don't even remember. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and get people in. Sutra duplicating chant. In. Not a big 
deal. My HP is still pretty good. Go ahead and just up my HP above max. Alright, test the waters a little bit. Okay, we can get physical. Not a big deal. Okay, enchant. Uh, of course, that kills Atsuo immediately. Go figure. I like how this red bar is going like into other people's like sections. All right, uh, that's pretty much everyone buffed up. So let's get Hina out. Go ahead and start concentrating. You can concentrate a bit too. Let's go ahead and do Misfortune Scott's Fire Rhythm. Thousand, three thousand, sixty-five thousand, speed down, that's fine, fifty-four thousand. 9,000, come on. 52,000, okay, covered 131,000. Gossip, come out. There we go, 163,000. <laughs> Thank you, randomized damage. Alright, so now we gotta deal with this guy. Okay, got inflicted with terror. It's almost already dead. Uh, strong against wind. We'll see if kind and lovely. There we go. Protection gem. Got a fragment of blah blah blah. And two gems. Phew. At least we won. The Ame no Murakuma still managed to get away in the confusion though. Honestly. Now, now, no need to get so agitated. The fact that the Ame no Murakuma pulled this stunt is proof that it's starting to feel cornered. It could have just wiped the floor with us, like on the 12th floor. Since it didn't do that, it means that it can't uh, get rid of us so easily anymore, probably. It pulled out those orbs either to buy itself some time, or it felt that it was in danger. It was certainly in a rush, though, as if it did not have the time to deal with us. Why'd that be? Who knows, I certainly can't claim to even imagine what a sword thinks. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. Hey. Uh, we're definitely... Let's see. We're, we're definitely got the Amai no Rokumo in our sights now. Oh, that is true. F Final battle's near. I can feel it. Let's keep going with our best. Yeah. Yeah. And there you go. The Sky Cradle where Saints sleep. Hmm, the scenery is all different again. A golden sky, how beautiful. We've climbed up to quite a height. I can see the top of the great tree from here. Considering the circumstances, the scenery at this height isn't that shocking. At this altitude, we are well within heaven's territory. Now that we're so close to heaven, the Amei Numero Kumo's power must be increasing even further. While that is a problem, the fact that it, this is essentially the Dragon God's Den is a much bigger one. Based on what I can see, the great tree should not be tall enough to reach the, the dragon, dragon god. I'll bet barely. The Ame no Murakuma should be saving its power to fly to the dragon god from the great tree summit. So, can I say that we've got a bit of time to spare? We can. If we continue to pursue the Ame no Murakuma at our current speed, we should definitely reach the Ame no Murakuma before it flies off to the dragon god. Excuse me, question here. What? I get that we'll reach it in time, but if the Ame no no, Murakuma is storing more power than usual. That means it's going to be stronger than ever when we fight it, right? Shall we do our best, Marissa? Gah! Then we're screwed. It's not impossible. It will be stronger than before, but we'll do whatever it takes to win. Surely you have no plans to be crushed like we were in. We were at uh, the 12th floor. Yeah, that ain't happening again. 
Then there's no problem. Keep your spirits up. We're dashing to the top of the great tree from now onwards. Oh, I kind of feel like I got waylaid into that. Well, whatever. We've got a bit longer to go, Rainbow. Let's give it our all. Of course, we're going to bring the pain onto that ups upstart sword. Let's go, Marissa. Yeah. Alright, here we are, 419. And guess what? I'll be like switches, because there's a lot of them in this floor. Only those who have the Mikagami seal may pass as engraved on it. So once again, there's going to be two bosses we need to fight that each have a seal, and that's going to let us continue onwards. And what's this thing do? Restore the magical walls on the uh, 19th floor to their original state. I see. So once again, we're going to be dealing with colored switches, and they're going to influence everything. But that'll have to wait till another time. Let's go ahead and use our. Let's level up everyone first, so everyone's back to their normal levels. Use special items. We have a fighting gem, which is attack. We have one that's MP, and we have a protection gem. Uh, my MP is actually going to be Akron, as usual. Protection. I don't know who's that. I think that goes to Momiji. Yep. And then the fighting gem, which is attack. I think it's been going to Parsi, I'm assuming. Nope. It's been going to Kukosa, of all people. Alright, there you go, Kukosa. And there you go. Oh, and there's actually one other thing we need to do. We need to go to first floor. There are two locked chests here, and we have two keys, and we might as well open them now. It's not like it's going to have much in them, though. Uh, midnight oil set, item discoveries weekly. All those do are just little item, passive items that increase your like drop rate in money and experience. And this gives you two magic gems, two energy gems, and that's it. So there you go. So we got some more of these to use. We'll use them on Biakran, as always. I don't even know who I'm using stamina on anymore. Apparently on uh, Hina, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and save our game. Floor 19, we're almost there. Floor 20 has the last boss. Uh, there is a floor 21, but that's for extra content. That comes afterwards. So, I am Theodore Prestior, and this was Labyrinth of Toho 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.